What's going on guys, Firewolf Tech here showing you guys the 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M2 Pro chip. We're gonna go ahead and open this up and show you guys all around. The link for this will be in the description box below so make sure you guys check that out. So I picked this in the base configuration model which starts at about $2,500. You can see here that this one features the 16 gigabytes of unified memory as well as a 512 gigabyte solid state drive. And we can see here that it comes with the Apple M2 Pro chip. Let's go ahead and open this up. This box is really big and very heavy. We have a 16 inch wrapped up in some really cool paper. Go ahead and turn this around. All right, and there we have the 16 inch MacBook Pro in the space gray color. What do you guys think of this color? This color is definitely one of my favorite colors. Very nice and very sleek. It's definitely large and heavy. See what we get inside the box. Looks like they give us a really nice MagSafe cable, which is color coordinated with the space gray. And the Type-C end is going to be on the white side. It looks like with the base 16 inch MacBook Pro, they're gonna supply us with a nice 140 watt USB-C power adapter, which is really nice. Taking a look around the MacBook, we can see that the MacBook Pro is nice and slim. It did a really good job with how it's designed. We see on the left side, we have the MagSafe charging port as well as two USB-C ports, as well as a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. On the back of it, it's really nice and clean. This is the hinge door. You can see where the exhaust fans are. And on the right side, we do get an HDMI port, a USB Type-C port, and an HD slot, which is really nice. And this is the bottom of the MacBook Pro. Let's go ahead and open this up, give you a nice little bird's eye view. As soon as you open the MacBook Pro, it automatically starts to start start up and power up. Go ahead and take this out. Definitely a beautiful machine, especially with the nice keyboard. You can see the nice black island keyboard. You have the two speakers and a very large trackpad, which is really nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys through the startup of the MacBook Pro here. The first thing I'm gonna ask is what language to set it up. We're gonna set it up in the English language. Next is gonna ask for our country or region. I'm gonna choose United States. Here's where you would customize the accessibility options, but we're gonna hit not now. Then you would select your Wi-Fi to connect it to the internet. All right, so once you connect it to Wi-Fi, it's gonna go ahead and uh, let you know if there is a software update available, then this is where you would update it. But we're going to skip this and update it later. Here we have more information on data and privacy. We're gonna hit continue. All right, so this option is going to assist with migrating information from a previous Mac, a time machine backup, startup disk, or Windows PC. We're gonna hit not now on the top bottom left. Here you will sign in with your Apple ID so you can connect all your Apple services, but we're gonna set this up later. I'm gonna set this up as a brand new MacBook. Here you would accept the terms and conditions. I believe this is the only way you can use a laptop anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and agree. Here you would name your MacBook anything that you want. I'm going to name it Firewolf. All right, so once you create the account here, it's gonna prompt you for location services. We're gonna enable that. This will allow you to track your MacBook in case you ever lose it. And hit continue. Here you would set up screen time. I'm gonna hit this and I'm gonna set up later. This is where you would enable Hey Siri. I don't really use that feature, so I'm gonna disable it and hit continue. So this is where you will set up your Touch ID fingerprint here. On the top right, we have the Touch ID sensor. So I'm gonna use my index finger. I'm just gonna place it on top. 
and we're gonna lift it up and place it down multiple times until it prompts us to move the finger here it's gonna take more angles of the finger and you can also program it for multiple fingerprints as well this is where you would choose your look here we have light we have dark and then we also have automatic I'm gonna go ahead and do automatic because I do love the shift from light and dark depending on the time of day. We're gonna hit continue. And just like that, your MacBook Pro has been successfully created. First thing I noticed is that the 16 inch is definitely very, very large and the display quality is very beautiful and it's very sharp. I do love the notch design that you see right here, it's really nice. Pulling up the Safari browser is very fast. It's definitely a really great and powerful machine, especially because it comes equipped with the M2 Pro. I'm going to full screen this. You can see the trackpad feels really nice, very responsive, as well as all the multi-touch gestures. It's definitely expected as of Apple. And the quality of the keyboard feels really nice, definitely clicks really nice. Let's go ahead and enjoy a couple of close-up shots on this beautiful MacBook Pro. Right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that little close up here. So remember, this is the 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M2 Pro chip. Now this one that I have here is the base configuration, which starts at, let's see here, 16 inch. Starts at $2,500 and this comes with the 12 core CPU, 19 core GPU, and with a 16 unified and the 512 storage. And for an additional about $300, you can step it up to a one terabyte SSD. And then if you want to do the M2 Max with 12 core CPU and 38 core GPU, that's going to start you at 3,500. And then the customizations are basically endless. Um, I believe if you are using this, um, the M2 Pro base, it definitely has a lot of power and it's more than enough. Unless if you need the extra memory on the, the actual MacBook Pro, then it's worth upgrading that. But other than that, if you're looking for the most power, especially for editing and, and all those high intensity graphic performance, then the M2 Max is definitely the one you want to get. Me personally, I'm going to stick with the base model. I'm perfectly satisfied with 512 with the external SSD. What do you guys think of the 16 inch MacBook Pro? I definitely love it and I highly recommend it. I'm not sure yet if the 16 inch or the 14 inch is going to be a better option for me. I do have both of them, so I'll let you guys know in a later video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys.